Android-based phones and tablets are quickly gaining popularity and even surpassing Apple's iOS-based phones. Android devices are much cheaper than Apple products and there are over 800,000 apps downloadable for Android on the Google Play Store. Let's check it out. Okay, so you're going to be trying Android 4.2 on a Surface Pro, which kind of defeats the purpose of Android, because the Surface Pro is over $1,000, the tablet, and Android is supposed to be run on cheap tablets, which are about $100 to $200. In fact, if we come over here, you can look at some prices of these tablets. See, that one's like $179. Then if we flip over here, look, here's some more ones. Um, oh, and look at the price of that one. Oh, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, $99. What's on the screen? It's Android style. Okay, jokes aside, let's get on with this. Okay, the market share right now is actually pretty cool. The worldwide smartphone sales is actually, Android is at 70%. Android is actually topping right now iOS and iPhones. Wow, look at where the iPhone is compared to the yeah, Android. Yeah, it's, it's only at 20%. Oh, that really surprises me because wherever you go, you see someone touching an iPhone all the time. I've never seen anybody touching an Android. This is actually phones and tablets combined now, generally with online users, with mobile devices, 59.04% of them are using iOS, so using an iPad or an iPhone, but for Android devices, 26.02%. But that does make sense, because the other one showed that Android... The other one showed sales of Android phones versus iPhones. Oh. Just phones. This is now tablets and oh, phones this is combined. Tablets and phones. Okay. So you see the kind of tablet brings it up. Okay. Now the version you're going to be using here, this is 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. And here are some of the other names of the previous versions. So you can see Jelly Bean, Ice Cream Sandwich, Honeycomb, Gingerbread. Okay, tell me a woman made up those names. Donut cut. A very cake. hungry woman. <laughs> you... It's maybe a pregnant woman. <laughs> Made up those names. Something Google just were a little strange, let's just say that. Because this is kind of a Google type thing and it's actually Linux based, surprisingly. Right. So when you first get your Android tablet and you've just like kind of signed in for the first time and everything, you'll see this screen. What do you, does it tell you a lot about what's going on? Mm, not really. Just tells you to touch that circle if you see to see all your apps. Mm. Make yourself at home, put all your apps up there. I guess that's like a desktop then. Yeah. And then there's an OK there. I don't know why the OK is there. That's just saying OK. I understand what's going on. OK. So do I touch that? Yeah. There we go. So that's what your desktop looks like by default. Right. Your first task is what time is it? Uh, one thirty-two in the yeah. afternoon. It even shows you how much battery power you've got yep, there. Yeah, battery okay. power as well. Okay, the next task is to write, save and open a text document. Um, Any kind of text document. Well, I'm going to touch do. that there. Oh, okay, so that's giving you like a tutorial. Will that come on all the time? Only the first time. Okay, because I wouldn't want it to come on yeah. all the time. But it's helpful the first yep. time. Okay, so let's have a look. Documents. Calc well, I found calculator. But oh. any kind of document thing to write a note or anything. So it doesn't have to be a full document. Notes. Either. Notes, great. And go. Where's the paper? This it's is just a blank screen. No, it's, it says notes at the top. And there we go. Go. Do your notes. I wouldn't know how to write on it. Oh, oh no. you've just minimised it. <laughs> How do I maximize? Oh, that's no, that's actually, yeah, your recent applications. So you've just put it in recent applications. No, you can't, it's, it's gone now. You, <laughs> I threw it away. You threw it away. Now, <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Notes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Precisely my point. New note. So, what did you do? Okay, I want you to look at this screen again. Yes. And I want you to think, what, oh, <laughs> now it won't do it, back to that screen. There was a little button there, it was really small, yeah. and it just told you what to do. But anyway, oh, there okay. we go, do your that. notes. It's 
sounds like you're typing. There we go. This is a note. <laughs> Fantastic. Save. And save. And there we go. Great. Where did I save it? Well, let's find out now. Back. How are you feeling about an Android tablet? Something like this um, for eighty dollars or a hundred dollars? Would you buy something like this? I wouldn't need it, but I can see the advantages. If you're me. out and about, maybe. Okay, so where did it save to? And I'll. I might just go into notes yeah, again and see. Somewhere. And there's even smiley face if you want to do one of those. Yeah, I find it a little bit confusing. What happens is. This is the note, but you've actually got to click, see where it says edit at the top? Yeah. You've actually got to give it a title. So edit title. So you call the note maybe um, OSF for OS First Timer. There we go. See, edit OFS. Now it has a name. Now save. And there it is, OFS. Oh, so all your okay. documents would appear in a line. Underneath that. Yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. And to get out of it, do I just go back? Oh, okay. By the way, there are widgets and stuff you can put on your desktop and shortcuts to apps. So instead of going to this all the time, you can actually put some cool. of the most used apps on the other. So if you wanted to put notes page. on the desktop, how would you do that? Um, it actually told you before. I, but I didn't read it because I didn't think it was applicable. That just opens it up. Up. So one tap opens it up. Yeah. So what about two taps? No. Think about grabbing and dragging something to a desktop. No, it doesn't do it. Oh! So what you have to do is you kind of have to hold it. It's touch it for a long time. Oops, not changing wallpapers. <laughs> okay, so it's about gr holding it, and then it becomes free, then you can drag it. Oh, so you can add it anywhere, so that clock was put there, the yeah. notes was put well, there, I so like... you can put anything. Let's see. Wait. You've got to hold it first, and then got you move it. it. I would like it like a desktop type thing in the corner. Oh. Yeah, it can't. These are windows, see? You flip see. between these windows and you have like lots of apps on different pages. Oh, I see. see? So they're like pages. Yeah. Okay. How many pages does the person need? As many as they want. Well, I would stick with one. Okay. A bit simpler. Your next task is to calculate 15 times 86. Okay, calculator. I like that calculator, yeah. it's good. So you think the design of the calculator looks good? Yeah, it's very simplistic. Does it look a bit Metro-like, Windows 8-like? The boxes, single colour? It does, but, you know, no concern of mine. Just okay, as, as long as, as it's, it's not colourful. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you change your desktop background? Right click. No, it doesn't do that. Maybe going in that thing again. Do I see wallpaper? No, I can't see any wallpaper type stuff there. Maybe I'm supposed to press the screen extra long. Does it matter which finger you press? No. Oh, what happened there? You've flipped through different pages. Oh, okay. Would the wallpaper be on a different page? Do you need a clue? I do because I wouldn't know where it okay. is. Okay. Pretend it's Windows XP. What would you do? I would um, right click. So can you try right click? Oh! Would you it like came to change on. your wallpaper? It, came, it knew that was my little finger. No. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's pretty smart. No, you keep your finger down. Oh, so it's just like. So any finger? Yeah, any finger. Okay, so wallpaper. It doesn't have finger recognition yet. Let's do that one. There and we then, go. And then how would you set it? Set, well. Uh, the set wallpaper. And there we go, there's your wallpaper. Now, something it has that's quite interesting and I think you would like, it's got something called live wallpapers. What do you think a live wallpaper is? This is a normal wallpaper. What's a live wallpaper? Probably a moving one, like a video type thing. So if I go to live wallpapers, there's some there. So let's say, for example, hollow spiral. Oh, and then okay. set wallpaper. And so see it's how it moving. slowly moves. Yeah, okay. So just choose a random live wallpaper. There's only a few. Oh, there's only those. But okay. you can get bubbles. more, obviously. There, and there we, we go. go. So set wallpaper. There we go. And then the bubbles moving in the background. Yeah. And you can have that on your phone as well. Some people even have like virtual fish flying around their apps for <laughs> stuff like that. A fish tank in their phone. I'm going to give you one more task now. This isn't usually a tasking OS first timer, but just let's pretend you didn't really know fully how to use an Android. Well, I don't know fully how to use an Android, so let's not pretend. Let's just do it. One day you're just walking outside, wandering around, 
and you saw a UFO in the sky. Okay, and pretend this is happening. There's a UFO in the sky and you see an Android tablet on the ground. Quick, take a photo of the UFO. Go. Don't delay, just do it. You found an Android tablet on the ground and you're taking a photo of the oh, UFO. Photo, photo, okay. Um, oh, it's going to be gone by the time I find it. Shh, okay, it's going into a wormhole. Quickly. Oh, well, it's gone. <laughs> I can't find the photo. Where's the photo thing? Download. Beep, it's gone. Okay, you've oh, well. lost. Oh, uh, camera. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the camera there. And how would you take the photo? That changes it to video camera mode. Oh, no, I don't want video so camera You want mode. photo mode. I just, there we go. There we go. So this is... <laughs> there we go. Okay. This is why we don't have photo evidence of UFOs and aliens as much as we could. Because it takes too because long. Because it takes too long to try and find the photo application on I Android tablets. I guess if tablets. you know where it is, yeah. like, how do you get out of it now like this? Well, look at it this way. You simply press that, then that. Camera, yeah. And then take and the then photo. And then do it. Okay. Yeah. Notice this is Bit actually... Could you move that camera thing on the desktop, though? Oh, yeah, you could. Oh, well, there we go. It's not such a yeah. hassle. Just note, this is a Surface Pro, so it's doing pretty good because this isn't even supposed to run Android. Mm. Like, this runs Windows 8 usually. So it's pretty amazing that it's compatible with the camera and the touchscreen's working, all the drivers are there, and it's Linux-based. So it's actually doing a good job on the Surface Pro. Okay, let's get out of this. Oh, I forget how to get out of it. How do I get out of this thing? Usually something down the bottom. No, those little dots. See those three little dots? Oh. There. It did when it goes away. Things that hide. Oh, there we go. I can't stand hiding things. Even Android is hiding. <laughs> Let's just say you wanted to change the brightness or something. How would you do that? I wonder if there's a setting type thing. Let's have a look at different... Or settings or something. Settings. And there we go. It comes up with all the settings on the side. Oh, there's no... Oh, there are more. Oh, power off. Now I know how to turn it off. <laughs> it doesn't have brightness though, does it? Up here we've got display. And then the options appear here. Oh, then the brightness, brightness. is there. Yeah, so brightness is right up the top. Okay. Yeah. And as you can see, that's another place to change the wallpaper in settings. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, just to prove that this is running on a Surface Pro, we've got the Microsoft logo at the back. It's actually running off a USB. Microsoft logo there. About tablet you actually see that it is saying Android version 4.2.2 Surface with Windows 8 Pro, Microsoft Corporation so right now maybe a hundred, two hundred dollars, do you think you'd buy an Android tablet? Well I personally don't need one but I can see that it's pretty good value for those that need this sort of thing on the move and how would you Google search something? You'll love this Google is at the top At there. the top you touch it and then boom start Google searching so this is like the Google Android store, if it was actually running on the mm. Surface. Um, and you've got all these apps, right? There's over 800,000 apps. Over 800,000 that you can download. And look, lots I of them... see ads, app, apps, there's all these angry birds. Yeah, a lot of these apps are actually um, iPhone apps. And see how it says install? That's because it's all free. Right. But there are paid ones too. There's just not many paid ones. Yeah, there they are. Getting my head around all these pages and stuff, I guess I would eventually. You could put everything on the one page. Yeah. See? So you'll just do that. So that's an option. But I don't get it. What's the point of having a desktop if you've got all these pages? See, yeah. iOS, that also has all these pages. See? Where's your desktop on the iPad? This is the desktop. See, they're two different desktops. So if you compare side by side, like this is an Android with all its pages and then this is an iPad with its pages and stuff. This is worth just $200 for a pretty decent tablet and this is $800. So now let's finish this up now. Can you please turn off the Android? Power off. Anyway, see you next time. Not a bad device for one or $200. See ya. Okay, this is just a test to see how all the record, like, chroma white key works. So I'll put my arm up and down. I'm going all around and there I am. So let's see what kind of background we could do. Try a few different ones and that will be it. And I'm just moving my arms around a lot. Ouch! Ouch! I bashed my arm on a sharp wall. Okay. Ready? And so you've got to have a massive smile on your face. Ready?
Come a bit closer so you... Ready? So, go. Go, just do it for a little while and then say it. Three, two, one. It's Android style. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> just say it. Okay, and say it loudly. Okay. Say, it's Android style. Okay, good. Okay, ready? It's, it's Android, Android style. <laughs> My third jump. Okay. Just saying it's Android style. Okay. It's, it's Android, Android style. style. Okay. Can we do one more? Just to okay. Make sure it's good. Ready? It's, it's Android, Android style. style. No, I laugh. One more. Good. <laughs> so it will be ready. Do you want me to do? What? Ready? Good. Are you ready? It's Android style! <laughs> oh, I forgot. Are you going to do it? Ready? <laughs> do you want me to do it? It's Android, Android style. style! Okay, there we go. Now, have a look. <laughs> okay, there we go.